guys what is ultimate taco i have to go really fast um so all i um so in this video i know you guys didn't um uh this wasn't what you guys asked for but this is what i'm gonna do i'm really sorry but i have to speed this up so, um so i think what we have to do is hold on let me delete this um okay that wasn't in yours because um that was just a thing i an attempt on the last video i did um but then it never got released so i'm just gonna create a new object i'm gonna call o um change room change room and then here in variable definitions we're gonna add a new variable we're gonna call it go to we're gonna call it go to oh wait i forgot to tell you <coughs> i added a new um i added a new sprite for metaton's house instead of the new home and i created a new room for metaton and added collisions and stuff and added frisk inside of it and i also created and i also left this the way it was okay <coughs> So I'll go to O change room, I'll go to sprite, I'll call it S wall, I'll go to app S wall, and then I'm gonna change the type to resource, and then I'm gonna say yeah zero. So basically what a variable definition is, is it's like a definition that you can change in like the rooms. It's just a variable. It's a, you can change it later. Um Okay, we'll just uh create an event and then step event actually no we're gonna delete this we're gonna add an event collision with o frisk now here we're just gonna right click it and then click convert to D and D and then we're gonna look up change yeah change room Ah, no. It's probably room, room, go to room, room, um, new, home, no, uh, we're gonna call this go to, um, yeah, and that should be close to it. And now we can go to room metaton or new home. Actually, I'm going to go to new home. Because I'm going to make new home in front of metaton. And then I'm going to go on to new home. Okay, now I'm going to go to O change room. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to double click it. I'm going to click variables. I'm going to click this little thing. And I'm going to put in room metaton or yeah there you go and now huh well now let's wait for it to appear I'm gonna see something really quick Um, where is it? It's not there. Oh, it's here. Okay, so we can go up to that. Huh. Why does it do that? Okay, I know why. I know why. It's because, see this room I made? It doesn't fit the camera. And it's a little too small. So what we have to do is we have to go to here you have to do this uh for everything if your room doesn't reach the camera requirements which is um i think it is 
320 by 240. If it's less than 320 by 240, you do this. <laughs> Okay, so you have to go to size, um, scale image, no, resize canvas, and go 320 by 240. Oh, that was 250, whoops. I'll change this to 240. Silly me. Um, now I'll get black, and then I'll fill this in black. And then I'll get new home background and do the same since this isn't the same thing. So I'll go 320 by 240. No. Oh, now there's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Whoops. I need to do. Oh, shoot. I filled that in with white, not black. There. That should be good. You probably couldn't see me, but I was just filling that part in. Okay, that should work. Cool. That did not work. Why did that not work? I know why now. I know why for the second time. Because, just because I made that bigger doesn't mean I made this bigger. So, I'm going to change this to 320. By 240. And there. Now for room new home, I can set this to 320 by 240. There. That worked. The collisions are a little wonky because we changed up the thing a little bit. So I'll just take all my collisions and then just move them to the right until they fit. And I also need to turn off distances so it looks better. Um, and room new home, room metaton, I'll put a change room here. Oh yeah, this isn't visible, whoops. I'm going to put a change room in, double click it, go to variables. I'm just going to say room new home. Now, let's see. Oh, also, we should get Ofrisk and put it here. Yeah. Ofrisk. And we should... Yeah, eh, that's fine. And then for a new home, we should spawn her here. And also, if you want me to demonstrate how to get more stuff, here, I'll go to PC Computer, I'll look up Undertale, and then I'll go to New Home, it's somewhere around here. Somewhere. Oh, Home and New Home. Okay. So... We've downloaded this before, right? And then we can go to here, drag it in. That did not work. Um, let's just create a new sprite. We call it S New Home Hall. Okay, now we'll edit this image and actually no, we won't edit it. We'll just import this sprite remember this and then see this little thing i w want to only keep this little thing so to do that let's get our little wand tool click the purple and delete it now it's actually a little easier 
Um, but if we zoom in here, we can delete everything but that. So we can take all this and see how it'll go up there. We can delete everything but that. And you prob you might not be able to see, but I'm just selecting stuff and see how only now there is this. That makes it so that like it's easier to not hit stuff. And finally, we also should click our magic wand tool here and then delete that. I'll show you why later. If I do show you. <laughs> Um, now we'll go to image and go to auto trim all frames and then we have our little guy here then we named it didn't we right and now we'll create a new real <coughs> <coughs> and we'll call it room new home hall and there's a thing that you guys might be surprised about that I'm gonna do here um this is 745 I'm not going to resize this uh, this is 745 so the width is 745 right so if the width is 745 I'm going to set this to th uh 240 cuz that will do it for us automatically actually sorry if I didn't explain it like at all but yeah. Um, X offset is going to be like, no, Y offset is going to be like 6. No, that's like nothing at all. It's going to be 64. Um, 32. Uh, 48. That seems, no. Um, 40. Um, now we'll go to Rainbow Viewports, Visible, 320 by, ah, that's 329. That's 320 by 240. Um, now we'll set this to 640 by 480. And we'll put Frisk, ah, in the Instances layer. right here and then we'll put a new instance layer we'll get o change room and put it there now we can get a wall and then if we click all we can make multiple collisions at once And there we go. There. Now what we have to do is we should be more precise and change snap to be off. And then we can put more blocks there. So it's better. Sorry, it's taking a while. Um, I have to go really fast. So now go to room new home and then we'll put frisk over here and go to instances one put o change room here we'll double click it and we'll set the variables to uh, we'll set it to room new home hall and now in room new home hall I forgot to do this but see this little O change room we made the O change room we should um yeah set the variables to room new home and now in the next video we'll um add it so we can Um, what's it called? We can go through more rooms and add transitions.
Now let's just wait for it to run so we can see how it looks. Um, so if you go to here and click this, now we're in here. Now you go down here and go in here. And that is a problem. So why? I already taught you guys a lot, but I just thought of a better idea. I'm going to set this behind here. And I'll set a color here to black. So now that cannot happen. What I did is I just created a background layer, set it to black, and then dragged it behind this background. So now that should be better. Oh wait, I forgot in our viewport, we forgot to click o object following O frisk. So now let's do it. Okay, so see how it's a little jittery? That's fine. Um, but what I forgot to do is set horizontal border to 9999 and vertical border to 9999. Now let me save. Now it should come up. And so, thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. I know this wasn't a very good video. It was fast, and you guys didn't want this, but I have to do it fast. Also, just to make sure, turn off instances 1 so it looks better, and change room new home, and turn instances off, and turn metatons off. And if you don't have metaton, that's fine. I just made it the same way we made a new home hall. And now this should look better. But thank you guys. This really means a lot to me. And stay safe. That's what really matters.